Hello everyone, it's Paula here from Craftables today and I am sharing with you the card that we did in our class this week at the shop at in Craftables. So this is the card here, so we're just going to pull it to slide it across and then it opens like that. So um, fold it down, pull your butterfly across and it's going to lock your card in place there. Just like that. Okay, so let's get started. Alright, so I've cut a piece of white cardstock to measure 5.5 by 10.5 and, and this is going to be our card base. So this one's going to get scored in two places and I will do that now. So I'll just bring my trimmer scoreboard in. And I'm just going to turn over the plate so that we can now do some scoring. So this gives us that edge along there so it's nice and tight there. And it also comes with the little stylus as well. So this one we're going to have right up against there. And when the first score line is going to be four and a quarter. So four and a quarter. And then go across to eight and a half. So those are just the two score lines that we're doing there. So I'm just going to fold on those score lines. Give them a burnish down. And fold that one there. And burnish that down as well. So our card is actually going to have that little flap on the side there so that's where our butterfly is going to be able to slide in and out of all right so just pop this away now Oops. okay so this is our card base so i've gone ahead and used the uniquely creative roots and wings papers and i've cut out two pieces that measure one and three quarters by five and a quarter and i'm going to place one on the front here flip it over and I'm going to place one on the inside there as well. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. Alright, so I've stuck those two pieces down. So one on the front and one on the inside there. Now I do want to put another piece here, but I'm not going to put my second piece on here till a bit later. So this one I've cut from the same pattern paper. And this one is four by five and a quarter. And it's just a little bit smaller, so I'm just going to stick that one down onto the front there. Um, this paper is beautiful. It's just the new Roots and Wings um, collection from Uniquely Creative and it's really, really beautiful. I love the blues on this one. Okay, so we've got those three pieces down there. Right, so what we're going to do next is just close this up and I've done a little template here. So this one actually measures, let's have a look, it's a quarter of an inch wide by about two and a quarter inches long. And I've just cut that out there and what I'm going to do is put about a quarter of this, about a quarter of the way up my card, quarter of onto this little tab side, this flap side here. And I'm just going to draw around it. So I'm just going to draw around it just on that little flap, not onto the main card just yet. So there we go. So you can see it there. And I'm just going to cut around that. So I'm going to do it as tidy as I can because we will be able to see this piece. So if you have a punch that you could do this with, go you know go right ahead and use that. Um, I, I couldn't find one, but that's all good. Okay, so I've now cut that little piece out there. So I'm going to bring my template back in where it was, line it up nicely in that little groove there, and I'm going to open it up and I'm going to draw around the entire template this time. Okay, so what that's going to do is when I cut that piece out, it's going to line up nicely with this piece I've cut out in there. So that's what's going to cause our butterfly to pull across and lock this into place. So I'm just going to dig my scissors in there. You could use a craft knife if you prefer. I'm just going to go in there and I'm just going to cut around my pencil line. Okay, so I've cut that piece out. So when I fold that down now, we've got that template that we've just cut out there. So this is where your butterfly is going to fall backwards and forwards. All right, so I have a two and a half inch square, oh, sorry, square, the circle. And this is the piece that's going to go on the back behind that slot there. So what I'm going to do is put it along the slot. And I'm going to pull it just across maybe a quarter of an inch, half an inch, so that we can see that little bit there. And I'm going to put a bit of 6mm foam tape down that little piece there. So it's just a very small piece of foam foam tape. So it's maybe half an inch, quarter of an inch there. And I'm going to put that in the middle of my slot there. So it's just going to go straight onto that circle in the middle of my slot. 
Right, so I'm going to pull that all the way over now. So I'm going to now put this right in the center. And I've also cut out another four, four by five and a quarter. And that one's going to go over the top to hide all this. Now when we put this down, we need to put a very, very thin layer, very small layer of glue around these edges. And that's just so that this can move in and out. So if I got it too close, if I had too thick a bit of tape or glue along this edge here, it's going to get stuck on that bit there. So I'm just going to make sure this is in the right place. All right. So just a really thin bit of glue right around the outside there. Okay, so that glue's just going to go right around the edge there, and then I'm just going to stick that down over the top of my circle there. Right, so hopefully now when I move this backwards and forwards I've got plenty of wiggle room there which is really perfect for what we want. Okay, so now we're going to get onto the butterflies, these little ones here. So I have stamped my little butterflies onto some normal cardstock paper and I've stamped it in stays on ink, uh, the jet black one. Now the reason I've done that is because I don't want my ink to bleed into my colors that I'm going to put on my butterfly. I just find that if you use the stays on ink because it's an alcohol based one, the water doesn't react with it at all, which is really great. So I stamp them, if you're using watercolors or anything like that, stamp them in the stays on. And I'm going to use the Distress Ink uh, Chipped Sapphire to color my butterflies in. And I've just got a little bit of a plastic bag here. And I'm just going to smoosh it onto my plastic bag, just like that. Okay. All right, so I'm just going to pick up some of that color with my paintbrush and water. So I've got a bit of water on here. I'm just going to do some dollops of water on here. I hope you can see all right. And then I'm just going to mix a little bit of water with my stays on. Uh, sorry, with my distress ink. Now, the more water you put on there, the lighter your color is going to be. So this is like um, a slightly darker one. So I'm just going to cover the entire thing with that one color. Okay, so I'll go back in and pick up some more, and I'm just going to color the entire butterfly in with that one color there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back in, and I'm going to do a darker color coming from the outside, from the inside of my butterfly to the outside. So to get a darker color, get as much water off as you can, and mix a tiny bit of water with the leftover ink there, and we can come back in and do a much darker color there. So it gives you that really beautiful blending look. Um, distress inks are great for this sort of thing. You can colour to your heart's content with the distress inks. I'm just going to get a bit more water on there and try and blend in those two colours there. There we go. So I can see that there's slightly different colours, light and dark there. Great way of being able to colour in anything if you're not very good at shading or anything. Just get your, um, put your lightest colour on first and then you can go back in with a darker colour. And you can blend them together really, really well. So I always start with my lightest colour first. Like that. And then I'll come back and get rid of most of my water and come back in and just get that really dark, deep blue on there. And spread it out. Okay, so I'm going to get a bit more of my water with a little bit of blue on there again, and I'm just going to swipe it from the out, from the inside of the butterfly out, so that we can get that nice blending going on. There you go. So it's easy as anything to be able to do, and I've got the two different colours on there just from one ink. So it's really good if you're trying to colour things in, and you want to get slightly different colours. I mean, you can play with this all you like and get like three different shades if you wanted to. Uh, you get very light and then you know a medium color and then a very dark. So it's a fun way to color in if you if you want a quick easy way to color in, especially with flowers and um, leaves and stuff like that. Okay, so there's my little butterfly there. Whoopsie daisy. And because it's water based um, distress ink, it reacts really well with water. So you know you can get a lot of beautiful colors in there. You could even do a couple of colors if you wanted to. So I'm just going to leave those to dry a little bit and while they're drying I'm just going to bring my card back in and I'm going to put on my Peelcraft. 
over here. So now with Peelcraft, I know a lot of people have a lot of trouble with this. There's a couple of ways you can use it. If you've got a, uh, what is it, a painter's tape, so those tacky tapes that don't stick hugely, you could put that over the top and then just peel it right back like that. I tend to just use um, my pokey tool. So on my pokey tool, I've got that flat edge on this one. So I just pull it up a little bit and get it up onto my flat edge there and I stick it down onto my flat edge and then I can pull the rest of it up. Sorry, I'm just going to get that middle out of the A there. So with the um, painter's tape, the tacky stuff, you can easily, easily do that over the top of this and then it keeps everything and it's nice where it's meant to be in its place and then you can pop it down. So I'm just going to line that up nicely there. My birthday's going a wee bit skew off there. There we go. There we are. So that's my peel craft put on there. Nice. Okay, so we'll get on with this butterfly again now. So hopefully it's dry enough. Yep. And I've got some um, silver foil that we're going to put on the butterfly wings. So just a little touch of silver on there on the wings just to give it a bit of you know glitter on there so to do the foil i've just got a little pot here of it so just be careful with the foil leaf leafing because it does go for miles and if you sneeze or breathe on it it will just float everywhere so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to bring back my glue that bit off there and i'm just going to do really really thin little veiny lines on my butterfly there so I might just follow the veins of the butterfly there so very very thin thin glue that's why the art glitter glue is really good for this so it gives you a really little thin line there so I'm just going to do the other side as well so I'm just really roughly following the veins of the butterfly wing okay so I'm just going to pop that into my silver now and I'm just going to leave it there to dry a little bit while I'm doing my little butterfly as well. So I'm just going to do a few little bits of my butterfly as well, of the smaller one. You don't need too much on the little one because it is quite small. Okay, so I'm going to pop that in there too. Right, we're going to put that aside and dry for a little while and then I will come back in a little while and show you how to get that silver off. So we'll see you soon. Okay, so I've let this dry for a little while and I'm just going to turn it over now and it's going to be covered in this silver stuff. Now you can gently rub it off with a, with a brush, um, like a makeup brush or something like that. Or I, I have what they call a scoochie here, so it's actually made for this specific job, if I can get that word out. And what it does is it just, just roughs off all those extra bits of leaf on there so it leaves the leafing behind on the stick out the sticky bits but it just gets rid of all that extra stuff so it is a little bit sort of roughish but not super rough but you could do the same you know just rubbing it off with your finger or just with um, a brush or paintbrush or something like that okay so that's just left a little bit of that silver behind and it just looks beautiful so i'm going to find my little little weeny one here and just rub that off as well So I'm just going to put the lid basket back on this because it goes for miles and miles if you don't cover it up real quick. Right, safely out of the way. Right, so now the easy bit is what we're going to do is we're going to put a few little um, antennas on these. So I've just got a couple of little, sorry, I've got silver all over me. I've got a couple of little stamens here and I'm just going to fold them in half and I'm just going to stick them to the back of my butterflies. So it gives us an antenna type of look there. So if you if you want an antenna on your on your butterfly, but you're finding them too hard to cut out, this is a great way of doing it. So I've just stuck them onto the back there. I'm not going to take that tape off. I am, however, going to take the tape off this one, and I'm going to stick it on a bit of an angle. So pull it right over as far to the right as you can, so as far over that way as you can. Um, and then you're going to put your butterfly in a little bit of an angle on top of that tape. Okay, so all things being equal, this should pull backwards and forwards now. 
there we go so it folds open and you pull it back that way and it locks it shut okay so my other little butterfly I'm going to do the same thing put some antennas on them so I fold it in half put them on the back of our little baby one here stick it down now this time I'm putting the tape right across the body just so that I can stick it down onto my card okay so I just want this little baby one here you could either put it up the top there or on the side I'm going to put mine on the side there right so for the last finishing touch I've just got this little metal key here so I thought I'd just um, jazz it up a little bit and just put the key in the middle of the butterfly there just to add to that silver that we've got on there so I'm just using my art glitter glue again it takes a little bit to dry this one but once it's stuck on there it's stuck which is really good and there you have it so there's our card all finished put it across that way to open open there so you can do your writing in there you could um, stamp a sentiment in there if you wanted to close it down and pull your butterfly back to close it so there you go I've put my happy birthday a little bit too far over I might just go and change that a bit later but just check when you're putting your peel craft down that it's not covering over like my mistake so there's our card for the week um, I hope you give it a try you could do this for a guy's card with some cogs on there or like a truck or a animal or something like that to pull it backwards and forwards um, love to see what you guys do all the time so if you do want to um, join our craft immunities page it's just craft immunities and I will just add you to our group and a lovely bunch of ladies and we love sharing everything that we've been doing so please join us and if you do do this card give us a shout out and um, just put it onto our craft communities page we'd love to see it so thanks again for joining me today and I'll see you next week bye